Well, hello there. Today's project is kind of cleaning up and revitalizing this old Concord grapevine that's been on the property for almost 30 years. You can see the, the main trunk is right here. But of course, we've got a lot of work to do. It's kind of bent over and needs some tender loving care. And then we've got some sapling trees here that have grown up inside and of course the uh, wiring or the supports need replaced. This is I believe vinyl clothesline. So we're going to have to put something a little bit more sturdy to hold up the grapes and we got to get rid of this sapling here that's just kind of grown up here along the post. So that's the project here, is revitalizing this old Concord grape so that maybe we can have some Concord grape juice, maybe some Concord grape jelly in the future. So let's get started. So first thing, we need our gloves. We're going to be running the chainsaw to get rid of these saplings. So that'll be the first thing we do here. Alright, we got one done. Let's see if we can get some more done. Okay, we're going to do a little hand pruning on this uh, scrub tree here on the end of the post. We've got to get some limbs out of the way so we can get the chainsaw in. So we're going to work on that next. So we're going to see if we can get the chainsaw in to this clump of trees here on the end and see if we can get those kind of cut out. And then later on we'll work on the stump removal. Okay. I may be dealing with a, a dull saw blade 
chainsaw blade and it looks like it's kind of stretched a little bit with the little bit of cutting we've done so I'm gonna have to tighten that up before we can finish this off. I tightened up the chainsaw chain so now let's finish the job. rid of that we'll work on the stumps on another project I just wanted to get kind of get this cleared out so we can see what we got to work with with this old grapevine and see if we can't revitalize it and uh, we'll take care of getting rid of this brush and uh, burn it with some other brush that we've collected okay all right that looks a little better getting those tree saplings out of here and after removing them and of course we'll come back and we'll take care of the stump here but you can see I don't know if you can see this here this is a piece of this Concord grapevine that has actually I think put down some roots here it's rooted in the ground so we've actually got another plant here that we can probably dig up there's probably a couple as i looked even out here where this thing grew out i think yep it seems attached so could be and i think here's a another one right here that's grown up that we'll be able to start a new plant from well, it's already started, I guess, technically. All right, so now the job of getting in here to the original. As you can see, this is a pretty, pretty old grapevine. But it needs a lot of work. So we're going to get in here with the pruners, see what we can do. And as you can see, it has sprawled out. I think it's even rooted in some other areas over here to go towards the greenhouse. So we're going to try to get all of this cleaned up. Get this all fixed up here. Alright, let's see if we can get busy. I'll come back and show you. Give you an update on the progress. Alright, now we'll give you an update of where we are with this rehab project with the old Concord grapevine. As you can see, we found that this thing has rooted in a couple different places. Right here. It's rooted in the ground. And of course, uh, we rehabbed the, uh, the original plant. So we'll see if some new vines grow off of this old vine here. So much better improvement. And I brought my new gardening partner out here so she could supervise the project. Hey Riley, can you say hi? Can you say hi to everybody? Say hello. Oh, she's such a good puppy. Yep. All right. We're going to sign off for now. Please remember, give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.